What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. And today I want to talk to you about how to get free food in prison. Now you might not think that this is too big of a deal or too big of a topic, but let me tell you something. Food in prison is probably one of the most important things that a guy can get besides a visit or a release date. Food is definitely up there in the top five things that a guy can get, might even be up in the top three. And I know even saying that some people may think, but Joe, what about getting with a girl or, you know, maybe getting the pack in? Yeah, those things are probably gonna be pretty important to some, maybe even most. But trust me when I tell you food is absolutely at the top of the list in terms of things that a guy can get while serving time. Think about comfort food or food for comfort. You know, while serving time, there's not gonna be very many things that are comfortable at all. But definitely being able to keep your belly full and not walking around with the hunger pains is definitely gonna be a good thing. And not everybody who serves time in prison and probably something more like most people who serve time in prison aren't gonna have the added luxury of having somebody on the outside willing to send them something like 25 or $50 a week so that they can order commissary. You know, how does a guy who can't make commissary or how does a guy who doesn't have a prison hustle, they don't know how to draw or tattoo, they can't make the pruno, they don't know how to do nothing. How does a guy like that survive in prison, especially in terms of being able to eat? Well, one major way that they do is by finding a way to get free food in prison. And we're not going to talk about any type of commissary items in this video. We are going to speak specifically about food from the chow hall, your trays. And sometimes those trays are not going to be very glamorous or good at all. But if you're hungry enough, you're going to eat it. And not only are you going to eat it, it's going to be absolutely delicious. And also like the old saying goes, where there's a will, there's a way. And trust me, if a dude's not able to get him the zoom zooms or wham whams, that kitchen food is going to be just fine. And there are many different ways that a guy in prison, a prisoner, can go about trying to get them some free food in prison. You know, when I was thinking about this idea as a video, I was gonna title this something like top five ways that a guy can go about getting free food in prison. I didn't do that because I think I've got a little bit more than five different ways. But we're gonna go ahead and get right into this, starting with a prison saying called beating the dudes. And this is gonna be like a broad category with a couple of different ways that prisoners go about beating the dudes. Now, for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure there's a lot who don't, what exactly beating the dudes means is being able to go through the chow hall line more than once, twice. And you know, prisons really take a lot of precautions to prevent prisoners from being able to beat the deuce. And in fact, if you get caught beating the deuce, going through that chow hall line twice, you know, you can get you an institutional charge for that. That's a stealing charge. You can end up going to the hole, possibly losing good time. And you might wonder and question to yourself, like, is it even worth it? Like, who would want to go through the chow hall line twice for some prison food? But again, if you're hungry enough and in prison, hungry is something that you could very easily find yourself being. There might not be much that you ain't willing to try in an effort to be able to eat something. God, that sounded dirty. But the prisons do take precautions to prevent prisoners from being able to do this, such as, you know, they'll have a guard who's outside of the chow hall building. They'll have a guard who's right there at the chow hall window, or they'll have a guard right there checking IDs, maybe even having to swipe those IDs, seeing the armbands. And there could also be other guards up inside of the chow hall whose job is to you know, watch and see if any fights are about to break out, try to prevent those. But more importantly, make sure that prisoners is not getting extra food. And sometimes in prison, the food is as valuable and is as guarded as like the gold at Fort Knox. Food is a major thing up inside the prison. And prisoners are always trying to get as much of it as they possibly can. I mean, it is legitimately survival of the fittest when you're serving time. And the guards is gonna be an obstacle that prisoners have to overcome in an effort to be able to beat the dude. So with mentioning this so far, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Joe, if there's so many guards and there's the risk of getting in trouble, like how are prisoners able to do this? Well, there's actually a number of different ways that prisoners go about attempting to beat the dudes. And we're gonna break this thing down right now. And I wanna say this also, this is not snitching. You know, me putting this out there, damn Joe, you giving away the game. Now prisoners ain't gonna be able to beat the dudes no more. Well, trust and believe me when I tell you, guards already know about this. They hip to this. And sometimes guards might look the other way, and sometimes guards might be looking to try to get some more stripes on their arm. And they are honed in and ready and watching 
for a prisoner to try to attempt to do this right here. This ain't nothing that guards don't know about, but this could potentially be something that you don't know. The first most common way to try to attempt to beat the deuce is once a prisoner has already gone through the line, they sit down, they eat their food real quick, and, you know, if they can't, it's all going to be dependent upon what guards are working up in the chow hall. You might have, you know, the B team that don't pay as much attention as the A team does. And if it is like that, you know, a prisoner could hurry up, eat their food, won't even worry about taking that tray up because if they take the tray up, the guards might be watching them. They'll then try to figure out a way to get back in the line. And if they're smart enough, you know, when going through the line, because a lot of times you have to sit according to how you're coming through that line, they won't let you just sit anywhere that you want to sometimes. Some places probably do. But if a prisoner is hungry enough and smart enough, he's going to wait until he can get seated somewhere very close to the line. That way he can just get up and slide right back up into the line, potentially, in between where the guards are positioned at. And let's say, for example, the guard is positioned right there at the tray window. Well, when he gets up there to that window where that guard's at, you know, the prisoner got to be smart. So he's going to grab that tray and act like he's talking to the guy behind him. That way the guard can't see his face. Or maybe he's put so much premeditated thought into this that when he went through the line the first time, he made sure that the guard didn't see exactly who he is. Because a lot of times, guards are going to know who everybody is. Hey, yo, what's up over there, little doo-doo stain? I told you to hurry up and get out of here. You got two minutes to eat your food. Your two minutes is up. Little doodle stain, get up out of here. Got to make room for the other prisoners coming through. So however you do it, whether you make sure going through the line the first time that the guard doesn't see your face or going through the line the second time that the guard doesn't see your face. And the way that you do this is, you know, you're talking to the guy behind you. Uh, yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know. I don't even know you, man, but I got to get me another tray. You know what I mean? Slipping back into the line. That's the first way a guy's gonna try to beat the deuce, if he's able to. Another way that a guy might attempt to beat the deuce is let's say you got a homeboy and your homeboy's full up and he's trying to look out for you. Maybe he'll let you use his ID or his armband to go through the line again. Go through the line the first time with your armband, go through the line the second time with that other armband. But you gotta kinda do it the same way as with just slipping back into the line. When you're showing that armband that second time, uh, yeah, what's up, man? I'm trying to I do not know you. I'm trying to give me two trays, though. They got chili beans and rice. I got I try to give me two trays. The biggest thing that goes into beating the deuce is being unseen. You gotta be stealthy. Almost like Assassin's Creed, like a ninja. And you're gonna see if you've ever served time or if you ever have to serve time, you're gonna see that there are some real pros at beating the deuce. These dudes belong on SEAL Team 6. And you know, you're real elite of the beating the deuce. They can do this like two or three times. If you see a dude who does it three times, he is an expert at beating the deuce. Another way guys might attempt to beat the deuce, and this won't go at every prison because not every prison will have this, but a lot of prisons have multiple chow halls. Might got an A side and a B side, a one side and a two side. Guy might go into the A side, sit down, eat real quick, put his tray in the little slot, and then go out and try to sneak into the B side. But as I've seen, and it may not be this way everywhere, but as I've seen, you know, prisons that have multiple chow halls, they're going to be scanning or swiping IDs. You're going to get a green light that shows up when you go through that line. But if you go through that line twice and they swipe that ID and that joint turns red, oh, you're going through the hole or you're catching a charge. You were trying to steal. That's like a felony in prison. You was trying to steal some DOC food. And if they got to swipe the ID, beating the deuce, becomes that much more difficult. You gotta understand, these prisons ain't dumb. And the staff ain't neither. They done seen it all. They done heard every type of a sob story. Dude go through the line twice trying to hit the guard with a sob story. Cody, cue that violin track. Look, I've already been through the line once. And I ain't made commissary since I've been here. I've been here. You know how long I've been here, Bob. I've been here long enough to know your first name, okay? I have not made commissary. Can I get another track? No! If they're scanning IDs, Beating the deuce becomes that much more difficult. But where there's a will, there's a way. Guys might take their ID, take a razor to it, scratch off the barcode so that joint won't scan at all. Go through the line one time. Hey, yo, why won't your ID scan? I don't know, guard. I've been here for a long time. My, my ID's probably just worn. All right, go ahead. You got through with that busted ID, that ID card that's been manipulated. Now you can get in the other side. And hey, your ID don't scan. Yeah, no, I, I got to get a new one, but I just ain't had time to get it. You know, doing time in prison, you, you, know, you don't really get a lot of free time. You're always on the go. You're always, you're always moving, boss. Beating the deuce is probably one of the biggest and most common ways that guys are going to attempt to get them some free food while serving time. But trust and believe me, 
there's some other ways as well. And this next one is probably gonna seem like a pretty common sense type of an idea when you think about how does a prisoner get free food in prison, but it most certainly is a way to go about doing it. And no, I'm not talking about snitching for an extra hot dog tray. I'm talking about getting a job in the kitchen. You know, when you get to prison, uh, you get the opportunity to get you a job. Most places you can get a job. Some places you have to have a job. You might be making 10 cents an hour. You might be making upwards of a dollar an hour, maybe even $2 an hour. I've heard about it, never seen it. But for a guy who doesn't make commissary, working in the kitchen is the dream job to get. It doesn't matter if you're washing dishes or mopping floors or cleaning up the jack shack. No, if you get a job in a prison kitchen, that's basically like getting a key to the city. You've gotten you a green light and a pass to be able to try and attempt to eat any and everything you can get your greedy little mitts on. But the crazy thing about working in the kitchen and just like getting caught beating the deuce is if you get caught eating some food in the kitchen that you ain't supposed to be eating, they gonna lock you up. That's a stealing charge. You could lose your job. You might not ever be able to get a job in the kitchen again if you get caught eating something you ain't supposed to let alone trying to sneak something back or the whole damn kitchen back which you got tucked up underneath yourself. Hey yo, what you doing walking so bow-legged for? Working in the kitchen is gonna give you ample opportunity to keep your stomach full, to keep food on your belly. It ain't nothing like working in a prison kitchen, and trust me, I've worked in a few, than seeing a guy who is brand new. It is day one working in a prison kitchen. This guy's gonna be walking around like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory, eyes bulged out of his head like a kid in a candy store. This guy is gonna be so happy, and a lot of times, a little too eager, running around, ripping and running, trying to get his hands on anything and everything that he can. He might eat it off the floor. He don't care, he is that hungry. There's a reason he wanted to get this job up in the kitchen and he has gotten it. And a lot of times, you won't even see a guy last longer than a day in a prison kitchen before he gets tore off and then sent to the hole for eating something he wasn't wasn't supposed to or trying to steal something. You might see a guy who's working on the line where his job is to put food on the tray. You've got a prison staff member, maybe even a guard, right behind you and right in front of you through the glass watching your every move. And they are still gonna try their hand. The gravy, meat rock. A little more gravy, meat rock. <laughs> there ain't nothing like going through the line in the chow hall watching a guy working on the line putting food on your tray because you can see him right through that plexiglass with food just falling all up out of his face. That's disgusting. But you know, don't get me wrong. Just because you get a job in the kitchen doesn't mean that you can't eat. You might find that certain guard or that certain staff member who wants to try to look out. They might give you a little bit of extra. If there's some food left over, maybe they'll let you eat a little bit extra, a little bit more. Maybe you can eat something a little bit better than that BS that they serving on the tray that day. There's a lot of perks that come with working in the kitchen. Dudes get mean prison hustles from jobs up in the kitchen. Ask Jellica. But if you get caught doing something you ain't supposed to do, especially on day one, especially prior to you building any type of rapport with that staff member or those guards that frequent and work the kitchen area, your ass is going down to the hole and possibly gonna get a charge as well and lose some good time and some other privilege. Ain't worried about losing commissary because you ain't even making that. Another way that prisoners can eat food for free in prison is by going to court. And I know that this sounds crazy. You're probably like, Joe, what? Like, what? How are you gonna eat for free when you go to court? It's actually something that definitely happens. This ain't gonna be something that you're able to do all of the time because let's be honest, if you're going to court all of the time, you're either snitching on somebody or you ain't never going home. That dude goes to court every single day, man. He got a billion charges. Oh no, nah, that dude just snitching on everybody. He ain't got all the charges. Matter of fact, he's in here on a jaywalking charge. I think he's actually trying to get a job with the police department. Going to court, you could definitely get your hands on some food for free. And the reason being is because, you know, when you go to court, it's not gonna be no good food. It's probably just gonna be a bag lunch maybe a breakfast tray prior to getting over to the courthouse or to the bullpen. But you can definitely get you some free food while going to court and the reason being is because you are gonna see dudes who come back who got smoked. I'm talking about dudes who got their boots smoked better than a ham and a, and, a, and a smoker and they gonna be too sick to eat. You'll see dudes going into that courtroom with so much hope, dapping it up with their homeboy. Yeah, boy, my lawyer was talking good. My lawyer was talking good. My lawyer told me all that work that I put in, pointing the finger at all them dudes. He said, I'm gonna be blessed when I go up in that court. Well, I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing, I'm about to go home. And then you see that dude come out of that courtroom looking like a walker from The Walking Dead. 
When they was handing out drinks up in that courtroom? Why are you looking like you drunk, though? 40 years! Hey, you ain't gonna eat that bag of lunch, is you? Dudes ain't gonna be thinking about a whole lot of food when they get, when they coming out of that courtroom, or even before they going up in there. Everybody gonna be sitting up in that bullpen farting. They've got the bubble guts. Scared to death about what's about to take place up in that courtroom. Asking anybody, asking the guards. Hey, uh, hey guard Billy Bob, Billy Bob. Hey, guard Billy Bob. Hey, the, the judge had his breakfast this morning, didn't he ate his Wheaties? Oh, the judge in a bad mood, though. No. Hey, where my lawyer at? I'm trying to read. I'm trying to postpone this. Going to court, you're definitely going to get you an opportunity to get you some free food. It just might be a little stinky while you're sitting there eating it. Because, again, everybody's stomach going to be all messed up. There's one final way that I want to talk about getting free food while serving time. And as I mentioned this, if you guys think of any that I left off or that I forgot, please comment down below and let me know what those are. But the final way that I want to talk about in this video, the final way is... Look, if you are hungry enough, if you're a hungry man, and I'm not talking about the TV dinner, uh, that's what they're going to call you because you don't get commissary and you are willing to eat anything. Another way that you can go about getting food for free while serving time is being willing to eat anything. You got to be humble. Can't be too proud to turn down that mystery meat or that that sweat meat or that, that brake pad, that meat rock, that cow tongue. You can't be too proud to turn down what dudes don't even want to eat. And you might think to yourself, well, if dudes don't want to eat it, why would they go to the chow hall? And, you know, maybe they feel sorry for you because they see that you're willing to eat anything. And maybe you hitting them with a sob story, too. Hey, look, uh, little Dookie Stain. I don't even talk to you for real. I don't even like you, but listen. Uh, we've been doing time together for a little while. Uh, and you see, I don't ever make no commentary. You steal everybody commentary, so, so you okay. But I ain't never made no commissary, and they are having those cow tongues in the chow hall today. And you know, if you can find it in the, in the kindness of your heart to go over to that chow hall and give me that tray, that would really make my day. You would? You know what, little Dookie Stan? You all right, man. You all right. I used to want to poke you up, but you know what? You, you changed my mind. Thank you. If you're willing to eat anything in prison, there's going to be prisoners who feel sorry for you. But don't get me wrong, there will also be prisoners who, who make fun of you as well. Hey, little garbage disposal. Yeah, you like a little garbage disposal. Hey, you want these scraps right here? <laughs> I got all sorts of commissary. My mom loves me. Oh, your mom got killed in a car accident? Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, food is an absolute luxury item in prison. It might mean more to guys than getting some mail. It might mean more to guys than visitation. And it's definitely not going to mean more than a release date. But if you ain't even got a release date, shoot. Food is number one. And if you can't afford the added perks, the Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams, your Snicker Bars on your pillow, your ramen noodle soups, your chips, sodas, your crackers. Damn it, that food out of that chow hall is going to be better than anything they got at Old Country Buffet. And there most certainly are a couple of different ways that prisoners can go about getting that type of food. For free. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace! <laughs>